Well, today, February 28th, is National Rare Disease Day, a day set aside to raise awareness and improve access to treatment and medical representation for individuals with rare diseases. Gabby Conacher, Executive Director and Co-Founder of the International SCN8A Alliance, <laughs> is here. You are a mother and an advocate. Thank you for joining us. Why don't we start oh, with uh, you. your story and what led you to start this nonprofit? Yeah, so, um, you know, everybody when they're about to become a new mother is just excited about the potential that there is there and um, the birth of my son Elliot 10 years ago was incredible but we quickly learned that there was something not quite right he was having strange movements and wasn't developing and um, after about a year and a half we discovered that he had an incredibly rare disorder a genetic epilepsy called SCN8A mm -hmm. and uh, he was about the 12th person in the world diagnosed with that wow. yeah and so um, we do work to raise awareness about SCNA Day, to work fi to find better uh, care, treatments, and a cure, uh, and not just for kids with SCNA Day, but across these really rare epilepsies. So let's talk a little bit about the impact that the nonprofit has had. Yeah, it's been incredible. So I am lucky enough that I get to work with my mother, Jayetta, day in and day out. She is my co-founder, co-director of everything, so she's an amazing advocate as well. And um, basically what we do is we look for gaps, right? Where are there not services? We need better education for families who have kids that are really severely impacted, like my son Elliot, who he's 10 and he's just now working on head control. And, um, you know, he, these kids have a very different kind of life and there's just not a lot of services out there for them. So we aim to fill those gaps in research, uh, education and support. Which is one of the biggest things I think also as far as families because it doesn't impact just, you know, the oh, yeah. patient but the entire family. I love seeing all of these um, pictures of Elliot. Um, for our viewers at home that want to learn more, that want to help yeah. and give back, how can we do that and support you best? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. So um, the work we do is under an umbrella of organizations called Decoding Developmental Epilepsies. Okay. So that's at ddecoding.org. And that will tell you a lot about the work we do on SCNA Day and then beyond to really help these uh, children and families living with these rare epilepsies that are so incredibly catastrophic. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to be here today. I know that it Thank wasn't you, necessarily an easy feat, uh, but please tell Elliot we yeah. say hello. And of course, everybody, uh, go to the website and see how you can make a small impact. Um, just reading a little bit more and educating, I say, think ourselves on it, is so important. Absolutely. Volunteers, donations, we need it all. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gabby. We've got the final moments of Good Morning Washington after this quick break.